Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be working with radical expressions. We have root 5 plus root 3 divided by root 3 minus root 2 equals x. And we are supposed to find root 3 plus root 2 divided by root 5 minus root 3 in terms of x. So these expressions are somewhat associated and we're going to find that association. So I want you to first notice that root 5 plus root 3 and root 5 minus root 3 are conjugates. That's what I want you to observe first. And of course that also goes for these two expressions or numbers. So what is that supposed to mean? We're going to multiply them together to get a better expression from here. So let's go ahead and call our expression y, the second one. And I already have a variable for x. So our goal is to solve for y in terms of x. That's our goal, right? Y is just a dummy variable. We, we're not gonna, we're just gonna get rid of that at the end. The answer is gonna be in terms of x. Okay, now here's what I'd like to do. Since I, you know, just mentioned that these numbers are conjugates, we're going to go ahead and multiply them accordingly. So, I'd like to multiply root 5 plus root 3 over root 3 minus root 2 by root 5 minus root 3 over root 3 plus root 2. Why? Because when I do, I'm going to multiply across the top and across the bottom, and they are conjugates, so the answer is going to be much simpler. What do you get when you multiply two conjugates? So, Conjugates are like a plus b and a minus b. So when you multiply them, you get from difference of two squares, a squared minus b squared. So let's go ahead and write it down for those of you who are not familiar with factoring. a plus b multiplied by a minus b becomes a squared minus b squared. Uh, if you ask me, like, what is one of the most important formulas in math, I would say this one. Of course, Pythagorean theorem is also very important, but this is definitely a very, very important uh, identity. Okay, and that also works with complex numbers, but it's just a little different. So, in that case, we have root 5 squared and root 3 squared, so this is going to be 5 minus 3, and the bottom is going to be 3 minus 2. I just wanted to show you how it's applied, otherwise it's very simple, and this becomes 2 over 1, which is 2. So now, this is significant. I took one expression, and I took another one and multiplied them together, and I got an integer, which is nice. Now, what are these expressions? If you look at the given x value, this is x, right? The first one is x, this is x. But if you look at the second expression, it's not y. You know why? Because look at the numerator and denominator. They're not the same. But it's just actually flipped. So this is the reciprocal of y, which I can write as 1 over y, right? So here's the result, very important result from here. x multiplied by 1 over y equals 2. Awesome. I was trying to get y in terms of x, and I'm almost there. Let's go ahead and write this as a ratio, x over y equals 2, and then cross multiply, write it as x equals 2y. Remember, we're trying to solve for y, and the answer is supposed to be in terms of x. So why not divide both sides by 2 and write the y as x over 2? And this gives us the answer, right? Well, it almost brings us to the end of this video because I just want to share with you uh, some ideas. Now, could we solve this problem in a different way? I thought about it. So, for example, if you take this expression... And from here, what would happen if you cross multiply it? Root 5 plus root 3, and then you're going to get the root 3 times x minus root 2 times x. And if you kind of put the root 2s, root 3s together, and this is kind of going to give you, I don't know, something like this. But from here, I don't think it's going to get anywhere. And I kind of got stuck. I don't know if you have any ideas. If there's any alternatives for the solution of this problem, please let me know and everyone else know in the comment section down below. 
Well, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.